Hello my dear students today we are going to learn about types of triangles types of quadrilaterals and many more okay so let's start as you all know everyone about triangle if you don't know just go to my previous video where i had explained about triangle quadrilateral and everything so today we are going to learn about the types of triangle so uh, types of triangles are based on two factors that is on sides and angles so first we will see based on sides there are three types of triangles based on sides those are scalene triangle isosceles triangle and equilateral triangle so let's see one by one the first one is scalene triangle a triangle having all three unequal sides and unequal angles is called a scalene triangle so here this is a triangle which is a scalene triangle because it has all three sides are unequal and all three angles are unequal so it is called as scalene triangle next comes isosceles triangle a triangle having two equal sides and angles opposite to equal sides are equal such triangle is called an isosceles triangle so here this is the isosceles triangle here these two sides are equal and uh, these two angles which are opposite to equal sides are equal so this type of triangle is called as isosceles triangle next comes equilateral triangle a triangle having all three equal sides and all three equal angles is called an equilateral triangle so here this is an equilateral triangle it has all three sides are equal and all three angles are equal okay now let's see the types of triangle based on angles okay so here we have three types of triangles which are based on angles those are acute angle triangle right angle triangle and obtuse angle triangle okay so let's see one by one the first one is acute angle triangle if all three angles of a triangle are less than 90 degree less than 90 degree means it is an acute angle then it is called as acute angle triangle so here this is a triangle which has all the three angles less than 90 degree means all three angles are acute angles therefore this type of angle is called as acute angle triangle okay next is right angle triangle if any one angle of a triangle is equal to 90 degree okay as you all know 90 degree means right angle so if any one angle is 90 degree then it is called as right angle triangle so it is a right angle triangle because it has one angle equal to 90 degree next comes obtuse angle triangle if any one angle of a triangle is greater than 90 degree means greater than 90 degree means obtuse angle so if any one angle of a triangle is greater than 90 degree then it is called as obtuse angle triangle see here this angle is greater than 90 degree therefore this triangle is called as obtuse angle triangle okay now we will learn about quadrilateral okay so as you all know quadrilateral is a shape which has four sides okay so let's see types of quadrilateral so here there are three uh, sorry there are six basic types of quadrilateral those are parallelogram rectangle square rhombus trapezium and kite so let's learn one by one the first one is parallelogram okay this is a parallelogram let's learn the properties of parallelogram one by one so the first one is opposite sides are parallel and equal in length so opposite sides are parallel these two lines are parallel as well as they are equal same with these two line segments which are opposite to each other are parallel and equal in length okay next property is opposite angles are equal so here these two lines i have shown this angle and this angle is equal and this angle and this angle which are opposite to each other are equal okay 
नेक्स्ट है सम ऑफ इट्स कॉन्सिक्यूटिव एंगल्स आर इक्वल टू वन एटी डिग्री कॉन्सिक्यूटिव एंगल्स मीन साइड बाय साइड सो दिस एंगल एंड दिस एंगल वेन यू एड अप यू विल गेट वन एटी डिग्री ओके नेक्स्ट डायगोनल्स आर अन इक्वल इन लेंथ सो दीज आर डायगोनल्स यू ऑल नो दीज टू डायगोनल्स आर अन इक्वल इन लेंथ ओके but both bisect each other bisect means what they make half of the other okay so this diagonal gets bisected by this diagonal so this length is equal to this length and this length is equal to this length okay next comes perimeter is equal to 2 into sum of length of adjacent side so if you want to find out the perimeter of any parallelogram then what you have to do you have to multiply by 2 with the sum of length of adjacent sides means this side plus this side multiplied by 2 gives you the answer of perimeter okay now to find area what you have to do you have to multiply this base with this height then you will get the area of this parallelogram okay now let's learn the next type that is rectangle okay so here this one is a rectangle now let's learn the properties of rectangle opposite sides are parallel and equal in length so these opposite sides are parallel and they are equal in length okay next all four angles are equal to 90 degree okay all the four angles of a rectangle are equal to 90 degree next diagonals are equal in length okay so here diagonals also are equal in length okay next comes both the diagonals bisect each other bisect means what they make half of each other okay so here Uh, as usual they are equal in length only so there is no problem okay next comes perimeter to find perimeter what we have to do we have to add up length plus breadth and multiply with 2 okay next to find area what we have to do we have to multiply this length with breadth okay next property is to find diagonals of a rectangle means if you have to find out the diagonal length of the diagonal of a rectangle what we what you have to do you have to find the square of length and breadth and then we have to add up them and then you have to find the square root of that or sum so what you will get you will get the measurement of the uh, length of the rectangle uh, diagonal uh, diagonal of rectangle okay now let's learn the next type of a quadrilateral that is square this is a square okay so let's learn properties of a square opposite sides are parallel and all are equal in length so here the opposite sides are parallel as well as all the lengths of the sides are equal in length next is all four angles are equal to 90 degree so all the four angles are equal to 90 degree next diagonals are equal and bisect each other okay so diagonals are equal in length as well as they bisect each other bisect means they make half of each other next diagonals are perpendicular to each other perpendicular means they make 90 degree with the uh, both of them okay when they intersect they make 90 degree okay so they perpendicular to each other next uh, to find perimeter what we have to do we have to multiply 4 with the one side okay next to find area we have to uh, how we are going to find area just multiply side into side or you can find the square of the side uh, you will get the area of the square as well as if you don't know the uh, length of the side the and you know the length of diagonal then you can find out the square of diagonal and make half of that you will get the area of the square okay and if you want if you have to find out the the length of the diagonal then what you have to do you have to multiply this side with root Two. Okay, then you will get the um, length of diagonal. Okay, now let's move to the next type. That is rhombus. This is a rhombus. Okay, let's learn property of the rhombus. Opposite sides are parallel and all are equal in length. Okay, all are equal in length as square and they are parallel to each other. Okay. 
Next comes opposite angles are equal. Okay, opposite angles. See here, this angle and this angle is equal, and this angle and this angle are equal as they are opposite to each other. Next, diagonals are unequal and bisect each other. Okay, diagonals are unequal. Okay, they are not equal. They are unequal, but they bisect each other. So they make this length and this length equal, and this length and this length will be equal because they make half of each other. Next is diagonals are perpendicular to each other. Okay, so here they make ninety degree. Okay. Next is sum of adjacent angles is equal to 180 degrees. So when you add up this angle to this angle, you will get the answer as 180 degrees. Next comes to find perimeter. What we have to do? We have to multiply four with the side. Why? Because all sides are equal. So just multiply with four, you will get the answer of perimeter. To find area, what we have to do? We have to multiply base into height. Okay, and if you know the product, uh, sorry, you if you know the length of diagonals, you can multiply the length of diagonals um, and divide it by two. You will get the area of the rhombus. Okay, now let's move to the next type that is trapezium. Here, this is a trapezium. Okay, let's learn the properties. One pair of opposite sides are parallel. Okay, here just these lines are parallel. And these are not okay. And next property: sum of two pairs of adjacent angles is 180 degrees. So okay, this angle plus this angle will give you 180 degree. Same with this angle plus this angle will give you 180 degree. Next comes to find perimeter. What we have to do? Sum of all sides. Okay, if you add up all the sides, you will get the perimeter. Next. Area to find area, what we have to do? We have to add up this a plus b and multiply with this height and then make the half of that answer. You will get the area of the trapezium. Now the next uh, type of quadrilateral that is kite. Here, this is a kite. Now let's learn the properties. The first property is. Two pairs of adjacent sides are equal in length. Okay, so adjacent sides are equal here. Okay, in kite, adjacent sides means this side and this side is equal. Same with this side and this side is equal. Okay. Next property: one pair of opposite angles are equal. So here, this angle is equal. This um, this pair is equal, but not this one. Okay. Next, diagonals are perpendicular to each other. Yeah, here only I am getting that the diagonals are perpendicular to each other. To find perimeter, what we have to do? We have to add up all the sides. And to find area, uh, what we have to do? We have to find the product of diagonals. Means we have to multiply this diagonals with this diagonal, and then we have to make half of that. We will get the area of the kite. Okay. So here all the types of quadrilaterals I have summarized. Uh, we have six types. So see here the properties: a parallelogram, opposite sides are parallel as well as equal, and rectangle also uh, opposite sides are parallel as well as equal. In square also, um, opposite sides are parallel and equal. In rhombus also they are parallel and equal. But in trapezium only one pair is parallel and but and they are not equal. Okay, and kite in kite they are not parallel as well as they are not equal. Okay, and all sides are equal in only square and rhombus. In these two quadrilaterals only we find this property that all sides are equal. Opposite angles are equal. Okay. Only in trapezium the opposite angles are not equal, but in all triangles we find on all quadrilaterals we find, and in kite only one pair is equal. Okay, in diagonals parallelogram the diagonal is not equal; it is not perpendicular, but it bisect each other. In rectangle diagonals are equal, but they are not perpendicular, but they bisect each other. In square. They are equal as well as they are perpendicular as well as they bisect each other. In rhombus, diagonals are not equal but they are perpendicular to each other and they bisect each other. 
in trapezium diagonals are not equal as well as they are not perpendicular and they will not bisect each other in kite diagonals are not equal but they perpendicular to each other and one diagonal get bisected okay only one diagonal get bisected so here all the properties i have summarized if you watch this video uh, carefully you will be perfect in the types of quadrilaterals you can solve any question uh, based on this okay if you like my teaching then please subscribe to my channel bye everyone